Once a darling of the smartphone world, HTC's journey in this territory has seen many ups and downs. The Taiwanese company who pioneered the smartphone design is finding it increasingly difficult to compete with today's top players. The last few quarters have been abysmal and the balance sheet is all full of red numbers. Keep in mind, HTC was the first company to release an Android phone and a few years back, its M-series devices were up against Samsung's mighty S-series. In fact, the company has enjoyed a fair amount of brand recognition in America as well as Europe. So what exactly happened to HTC? Not only has it made Android devices, but in its history, it also had a brief stint with Windows Phone. Windows Phone AX and AS by HTC. Well, we can talk about a lot of missteps, but it was exactly 2015 when it all started. Since then, the company has not only lost almost all of its market share, but has been bleeding cash like never before. Two incidents took place in 2015, one from Qualcomm and the other one from Samsung. Let's talk about the Qualcomm one first. In a bid to go up against Apple's 64-bit CPU, the American chipmaker dropped the bomb with the 2015 flagship Snapdragon 810. After a long string of successful flagships, the Snapdragon 810 has been a little bit of a disappointment. In a race to compete with Apple's 64-bit chipset, Qualcomm opted for a stopgap measure and used a Cortex architecture to design the chip. This led to immense heating of the chipset and to prevent overheating of the CPU, it was repeatedly throttled. This meant that the chipset was consuming more power but giving worse performance than the Snapdragon 800 or 805 that it was supposed to be succeeding. Except for Samsung, Every other OEM suffered from this Snapdragon 810 mess. And unlike LG, Sony or Huawei, HTC doesn't have any other business to pull through a bad year for them. HTC's M9 disaster performance not only hurt the company on financials, but also put a big dent on the excellent momentum that they had from the M7 and M8. The biggest hurdle for HTC came from none other than Samsung. For years, HTC had put design and premium material at the center of their flagships. While other OEMs were busy in designing band-aid phones, HTC was the only one giving Apple a run for their money in the design department. Following criticism from both fans and reviewers, Samsung went back to design the Galaxy S6 from the ground up. Termed as Project Zero, the metal glass combination put the Korean giant front and center in the design area. Basically, Samsung stole HTC's biggest USB and hit them where it hurts. Samsung continued to refine it and HTC was still stuck with tired and boring design in the following year. HTC got hit hard by Samsung and Qualcomm in different areas. After that, the company got lost and tried to experiment with a fancy virtual reality gadget, released too many variants of a single flagship, failed to innovate in other areas or diversify itself. And fast forward today, the iconic company is in news for all the wrong reasons. HTC has now also sold a majority of its business responsible for making the hardware to Google. While the company had everything a user wanted, starting with premium design to excellent cameras and audio system, it just couldn't match the Samsung hype. HTC isn't the only one that couldn't survive though. Even LG has lost considerable ground, but at least they are still here and trying to make it through. HTC being a pure smartphone maker had nothing to rely on no backup business to help out their smartphone unit and in a never changing industry where new players come every other month, HTC couldn't make it. In fact, a large chunk of the new players have started out by making devices for the budget and mid-range segment that has the maximum demand in developing countries. On the other end, HTC completely gave up on these segments and wanted to focus only on the top tier. We can speculate all day about how they could have handled some things differently, but it was 2015 and that put the stepping stone in HTC's journey. Hope you liked this video. For more such ones, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Also comment down below if you have any suggestions or feedback for our videos. Thank you.